Hey guys, so I shampooed and conditioned my hair already. I used Care Care Step 1 and 2, which is the shampoo and the conditioner. Then I used my Canacomb Restorative Conditioning Mask with the silicone mix. So this is a Brazilian hair treatment. It's great for people who are transitioning. This stuff makes my relaxed hair much stronger. My hair is always super soft. It retains the moisture and it gives it great slip. The silicone coats your hair and blocks any moisture from getting into it. So I only use this canicomb slash silicone combo every two weeks. So as you can see, I'm still in my transition phase. My relaxer has grown out from the back, but it is still in the process of growing out in the front. Since I have thin hair, I'm just going to part my hair into two sections. For my leave-in, I will be using the Afogee Pro Vitamin Leave-In Conditioner. I pour this in a spray bottle to make it easier to apply it. I start applying the leave-in and then right after I apply my Awapui Hydra Cream Whip in the scent Wild Ginger. This stuff seriously smells amazing. I have super thin hair and this product gives my hair so much volume and it makes it smell really good. So I'm just applying this on my damp hair and I'm using just enough to coat each strand of hair. Okay, next I'm going to part my hair into six sections and just twist each section. This helps keep my hair detangled. I would do four sections if I could, but since my relaxed hair is in the front, I like to blow dry that separately. You don't want to blow dry relaxed hair and non-relaxed hair together. I'm going to be using my Titanium Extreme Baby Bliss Pro. I'm just going to work through each section until they're all fully dry. I'm going to start from the bottom and then work my way to the top. Blow drying is the most important part so you have to make sure your hair is super straight. This will help your flat ironing process or your curling process go by much faster and easier.
I'm going to be using my GVP flat iron that I got from Sally's. I'm just taking rubbing alcohol in a cotton ball and just cleaning uh, the flat iron before I use it. Spray my trust in my heat protectant all over one more time. So I normally part my hair into about four sections. I start from the bottom and then just work my way up. When I curl my hair, I'm just twisting the flat iron as many times as I can, which is about two to three times. I don't mind if my hair looks overly curly right now because um, in about three days, the curls will fall and they'll look like loose beach waves. So for the majority of my pictures on Instagram with curly hair, this is the routine that I did. This will last me about two weeks before my curls just completely fall out. I don't use any hairspray on my hair. When I go to bed, I just put my hair in a bun and I use a stocking as a rubber band to hold it in place. So I hope you guys liked this video and you found it super helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what other videos you guys want to see.